break up. Sean fly over, car boot sale, show and tell. <laughs> you like that? Don't you? I like that. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, oh, no. I might keep using that for a little while. Uh, so <coughs> welcome back to Neil Jazz Reselling. Um, this morning we went out to Shoreham um, to the flyover, to the boot, flyover sale. boot sale. For anyone who's interested in Shoreham boot sales, the next Ada Rec boot sale is on the 14th. Because they are run by charities, right. as I understand it, they're having problems sorting out their COVID regs, whereas the big companies that do the every week boot sales are yeah. already up and running. But just a, a little sideline for anybody who's looking forward to... to Quick shout out. Um, hi to uh, Paul. Uh, it was yeah, great. hello Paul. It was great to see you today. Um, yeah, it's always great chatting with you, so that's excellent. And uh, hi. And also to Gavin. Uh, it was great to see my friend Gavin there. And uh, and boys. Oh. Take, Take two. two. Okay, so um, I had a really good day today at the boot sale. Uh, I think I spent about a hundred and five pounds. I think it was. Um, so yeah, I picked up a lot of good stuff. So um, I'd like to start off by showing you the shoes that I picked up. And I can't see it, see the my reflection properly because the the screen on the camera is, is tiny. Yeah, it's a little. Square. And all I did was take my hat off when I got in. Right. And you wouldn't tell me if my hair was a mess. So if it is, just pop a note in the comments. My wife always <laughs> looks lovely. Right. So um, yeah. So I've got a whole bag of shoes. Um, bought separately and um, just go through some of the shoes quickly. Um, but you shouldn't put them on the table. You shouldn't they're put them on the table, but they're in a bag, so it's different. A um, pair of hotter. Hotter. Um, they're not. I don't. I think they. They kind of look brand new. Uh, I think hotter's a reasonable brand. Is it a good brand? What do you know? Um. Yeah. They. They tend to do um comfort shoes as opposed to um fashion shoes but they were three pounds um, you, you know, can see shoes the, aren't cheap you can see that they're not even worn at all so i thought for three pounds i mean the great thing when you when you're looking to buy stuff for reselling is it doesn't matter what size they are because you're not buying them for yourself so yeah. it doesn't matter so that was that was really cool and they are size three i think aren't they they are size threes so yeah. they are tiny but there are people out there with little feet there are small people um right the next well oh, here's two pairs of shoes and they were four pounds each and it's something i know a little bit about but not the actual shoes who are they grubby is they're chalky because oh, climbing they're shoes. climbing shoes I'm on my so it's not that they're grubby that they've just got a little bit of chalk dust on them um so climbing shoes i bought these for four pounds they look really good condition um the things that i know that you're looking for on climbing shoes is where you've got the seams that these seams aren't starting to peel away and the seams are looking pretty good because that that's where they go is is on that um the climbing shoes um designed to actually have when you put uh, um, the toe into something that's just a very small ridge or flat um, it really helps you to stick to the uh, rock but the, they're quite nice and the second pair i've got two pairs of two pairs shoes. the second pair look to be just as good are they both the same size um are I, they like his and hers ones? Or, I, I don't know, to be honest. Somebody's had two pairs. It could be. Um, I remember, from when I remember doing it, because I used to do a little bit of climbing myself, uh, just a bit of sports climbing in sports centres and a little bit of sandstone. Um, but um, but one of them had a box and whatever, so that also helps. Um, but for £4 each, I've got a feeling that they've got to be at least... I mean, I paid 60 odd quid for mine when I bought... Or 60 or 80 quid when I bought mine they could be as cheap as 30 odd quid um, but I've got a feeling you know picking them up for four quid I should be able to sell them for I'm, I'm hoping to sell them for 15 at least is what I'm thinking by the time I, I've, I've cleaned them up 
They're in the garage. Oh, well, I've never seen um, them. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so some climbing shoes, some climbing shoes. So that's pretty cool. Um, Excuse that, Kirsty. She's trying to encourage the big boys to play with her. Oh, not right. Interested at the moment. The next thing I put, well, I picked up. This was at the end. Um, there was a stall at the end, and basically it was a case of um, he was a trader that didn't want to take anything away. And at the last, at the last point, he said, "Everything's free. Just take it away." Um, and I'd already looked at these. They're not branded. Um, sandals. Oh. They're not brand. They're not branded sandals. They're only eleven. Um, but they just be like a Tesco or Sainsbury's yeah. one. But it doesn't matter. They're but they're they're completely. I mean, they're not. They've not been used. They're completely new. So. Um, that's going to be worth a couple of quid at least. Yeah. Um, so they're quite good. Um, then we move on to some boots. I really like them. Um, they're really quite nice. I really quite like them. I think by the time I've cleaned up, I don't think they've really been, well, they've been used like a minimal, really minimal. You can see that they're still a laid on. but not much. Yeah. Um, so and the size fives. I think they're cotton traders, those. Yeah. It says inside. Oh right, cool. Inside. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. um, got a velcro fastening. So oh yeah, cotton tra cotton traders. Yeah. Um, size fives. Yeah. But the colour is a nice colour. They feel like they'd be nice. They'd be brilliant for dog walking. Yeah, or... it's like thick thick rubber welly boot bottom and then suede yeah fur line top I, I think they're lovely i wish they were my size i really do but they're not are they no no which means i get to sell them excellent sorry about that lovely but well, uh, i should just be on the lookout well, for some for me I'm, i am on the you know i'm definitely on the lookout for this kind of stuff and if we get some that are the right size for you brilliant and that color no, I don't know. I don't know what these size are either. Feelers. These are six and a half. Is that your size? Oh no, UK five and a half. US uh, six and a half, UK five and a half. No, they'll be too small again. But again, I pay. I think I pay. Uh, might have been about four quid for these ones actually. They're not brand. They're definitely not brand new, but the condition of them, I think, is definitely sellable. Very nice condition. Um, I think by the time that's had just a little bit, just a little bit of, of a just wipe a down. Um, yeah, I've got a feeling that they could be worth. So I've actually, you Hello, know, Chester. actually Thanks gone into to getting some more footwear. This, is, I mean, not that I don't do footwear. Yeah, this is Chester. We just come to have a look and see what we're doing. Oh, I've lost the baby. Where's she gone? She's just oh, it's all right. She's down there. Down there. So um, that's my first couple of bits. What have you got to show, Jo? Uh, well, my first bit. When I'm in the car on on the way there, I realised that the tiny little elastic bands that we got loads of the other week. Yeah. That I used to hold the. Um, the string on my glasses so that I can put them on and take them off. Yeah. One of them have broken. Ah. And although we've got hundreds of them here, I yes. haven't got any spares on me. So walking around the boot sale, I get to um, a couple of lads and they've got a whole carry bag full of them. And I said, look, I don't want many. I just want 10 peas worth. <laughs> <laughs> so they sorted me out just a few so that I was able to reattach yeah. my... It's just so, because the, the rubber on the glasses string just slides, slides off, off and, and then you lose it. the whole lot so it just holds them on so i've just got some okay so 10p well spent in my view okay so i will keep those in my handbag for another time because they don't last long no. they're only cheap little things we're we having fun with this <laughs> we <laughs> are sure and fly over take three. take three okay so now this was inspired by watching a YouTube channel. Uh, I don't. I've do you remember who it is? Think, I've got a feeling it was Dave for 
Was it a Fences or um he's he's the um the biker up north. I'm really sorry, I can't remember the name Dave, of it. Dave I can't remember Jazz. his surname, Dave. Anyway. I'm sure it was I'm sure it was Dave though. Lovely guys. I Fences. saw this and remember just watching the film this week all about it and this is a um well it's just he picked up a couple and yeah. uh, we were inspired by him and if you don't know what this is yet because it's a bag they'll pay you 10 pounds you might want to open the zip all the way if I'll you pay get it out 10 pounds well i am like, oh, the zip is open Can you see what it is yet? Can you see what it is yet? Okay, so this is a apparently. I'm not going to try and open it up. It is a child carrier. Apparently, there's lots of different ways to configure it, um, but the idea is that the I take it that's the harness that goes over the person's head. Something like that, and then the child's up here, kind of thing. Um, apparently, there's different ways to configure it. Well, could we do it with a dog? Um, <laughs> but anyway, I was just wondering if they do one in my size. I really <laughs> struggled today walking around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I saw this, it was up like that, and then you had the bag. I think uh, uh, apparently, there's videos all about it and how to fold it and how to. How to configure yeah, it and to all that kind of stuff. It. Um, but it's, um, yeah, they're quite expensive, believe it. I, I've looked this up. Um, I might need to look it up a bit more, but I believe um, it's about 100 quid. Uh, as in, they're selling on eBay for 100 quid. Um, and mm. I paid 10 for it. And this is Mini Me's. Mini Me's. Yeah. So. So yeah, I, that I'm... to me though. Oh, I'm just looking at that hole in the back and thinking, do the kid's legs go through somewhere? Yeah, where does stick the child? I'm sure. Maybe the child goes in the bag. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how that. Hang on, let me let Chester out. I don't know quite how it configures. Apparently, there are films all about it. Um, but I don't need to know how how it all works. The person who buys it needs to know how it works. And, um, and then it's got um, got a thing. What's it got? A mini me's thing that is just a mini me's, and then is it a mirror? Oh, I get, well, it's, oh, a, so it's a mirror. So you can see what the kids, so you can see what the kids <laughs> up to. You walk around like a wing mirror, holding, it, <laughs> holding it like that all the time, so you can say, "I can see you." That's pretty good. Well, maybe maybe that actually. I mean, all joking aside, maybe that is to see if the child's awake. No, I or think asleep that's what or, it's for. Yeah. Or whatever. But this doesn't this look like it's unused? Yeah. It looks it looks in unused condition. Now, actually, when I was speaking to Gavin about this, um, he was saying, "Oh well, yeah, we bought one for our kids, and I don't think we ever used it." And I think that's quite a common thing. Sometimes people buy things and then. You think you're going to do something when the kids are at age where they can go in something like this. There's obviously, as the kids well, grow up, there's a limited time. In all honesty, I've got one for the puppy. Yeah. And I think she's actually too big to go in it now. And we've never so used it. So it doesn't take long. You think you buy something in case you need it and then you never need it. And then they just sat around. But I say they are expensive. Like sure and fly kids. over. Sure and tell. Take four. Okay, so what else have you got, Jan? You must have a couple uh, of bits you now. Need to pass me um, my little black bag that folds up. The black bag? Yeah, it's probably in there. This one? Is there a black bag in there? Yeah, that one. Um, it's been mainly emptied out, but this was for me. I just saw it. And I've always loved these pens where you've got four colours in one. And that one's got the purple. So I thought, well, I'll be having that then. Excellent. 50p. 50p. Well, that's, 50p. That's pretty damn good. So not as exciting as all your shoes, but 
No. Makes no, me oh, happy. Well, I've got four oh, colours. Shoes are good. Um, well, that was the shit. Right. So I've already put some of the, my bits into a bo box just to keep it tidy as I... I'm going to move on to ca my cameras quickly. We've tried, tried not to do my cameras for too long. Uh, but just a quick quick look at what we what we got because I know I pick up a lot of cameras and binoculars. Um, you gonna do a couple more yours uh, first? Well, I was just going to say that I was also looking for um, plushies for the for the puppy, and there was some on the ground and right. I was asked how much. And she said, "Well, the build a bear's a pound." Yeah. So I thought, "Well, I'll have a build a bear for a pound. It's not for the puppy, I'm sure." That's, that's quite, quite a nice one, actually. Quite a nice one, yeah. It's very well, glittery, bear, little wings worth... on the back, so... That's pretty good. A pound build a bear, so that's nice. that one. What else you got? Um, then I got, at another store, um, cuddling toys at 20p each that are for the puppy. So I've got her a Winnie well, the Winnie Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, excellent. And a little a lily. Dear little elephant. Um, well, there are more than these. I think the others are in that. In that. In that other one thing. There should be three more. Because I got myself a pound's worth of. Uh... <gasps> oh, Echo! What did you do? <laughs> oh. She pulled on your jumper. <laughs> And it took the whole chair down. It's no, like, oh, result, I've got a whole jump. WL, I don't know who that is or what it is, but yeah, Winnie the Pooh and the Panda suit. Excellent. So that's three. Then um, also there was a big orangey thing. Oh. So what's that? That's, That's a, a Tigger, but it's got a zip on the back. Oh. So I don't know if it's a cushion or a like a nightdress case or cushion. something. It's a little pillow. It's a little pillow. That's quite sweet. That's quite sweet, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four. I've still one missing, haven't I? Oh, I don't know what happened to the other one. I had five all together. That's four. That makes five. That's it. If you've got five. Three. That's no, not the builder bear. There's five of the twenty p ones. All right. Well, what else you got there? Doesn't seem to be in, in this. It's underneath something. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Number five is a strange giraffe. little giraffey person. A little giraffe. Let's. Uh, yeah, he's quite cute, isn't he? So. Oh, that sounds a bit plasticky. Oh, yeah. Don't know that I like that. No, I don't either. Still, the dogs have ripped that up, and. Uh, well, we're just going to have to keep close eye on them, and as soon as they yeah, get no, through that fabric. It's very plasticky. You'll have to take it away from them. Well, from her. Yeah. That's got some rattly thing in it. Oh, I thought these would all be puppy safe, but... That doesn't sound puppy safe. Again, we'd just have to keep an yeah. eye on it, and as soon as they get through the fabric, then... Yeah. ...bin it. It gives us some... Oh, that's cool, though. Got some cause... good teddies there, didn't you? Yeah, because... Uh, Took all our other toys and stuck them in the wash this morning because they're a bit getting a bit um, smelly. Do you want to mention that next or shall I move on to some more bits? Um, I could mention it now. As it's you on like. your lap, go for it, yeah. I've got a mobility scooter which is all terrain and really rather fabulous, but I can't go on a dual carriageway with it unless I've got one of these. So I've been looking for one, or threatening to get one for a long, long time, yeah. especially because I've now got the trailer that goes on the back of the scooter for the dogs. Yeah. Not all the dogs, but one or two of them. And um, the guy was asking four quid for it, and he said, do you want me to hook it up to battery and show you it working? So I said, oh, yes, please. So he did, 
and it worked, but right. the light didn't come on. Right. Because the bulb was gone. Uh -huh. So he took the bulb out so he'd know which so I'd know which one which to get. One to get yeah. And he said, Well you can have it for free. That's so nice. bless his heart, I've got Thank you very much. Yeah, what thank a you very much. Item. I've got a flashy light. A flashy light and a bulb. Brilliant. Well, needs a bulb, but yeah. no, that's uh that's really good. Well that's really cool. Because I can get to the park from we live you know just what is it about half a yeah. mile from a yeah. 170 acre park where where we like to take the dogs and i can get to it on my scooter not going on the main road but if i do that then i've got to go over a bridge that goes over the road that has then got a zigzag with really 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 tight corners yeah which i can do on my own but if i've got the dogs in, At, the, trailer in the trailer the back, you won't be able to i'm not going to be able to do that whereas it's actually quicker and easier to go on the road from here but i couldn't because i haven't got the orange flashy thing yeah. And I like to be legal. Yes. So I've got some bits here. I've also picked up um, a few cameras, you know, like a camera and um, um, and some binoculars. So let's have a little look, see what I managed to pick up today. Um, so there was this bag. Well, I actually, I didn't actually notice the bag. It was the camera on top of it. Um, and we have a nice little cannon this is a um a film camera not 35 a five millimeter it's a 35 mil uh, a film camera it's not a digital at all uh initially i did one you know it was a case of well is it a was it a film uh but it was definitely a film camera um it is actually a di uh, um, an slr so the lens can be swapped out for a different lens and uh, you do have the body um, which is quite nice looks like the sort of camera that I started off on yeah so which was a Canon but I can't remember the um, the numbers I did check we've also checked that the batteries you've got the batteries there um, the lithium batteries lithium batteries so yeah all in all I think quite a nice camera it was actually uh, the guy was asking for 10 and I said would you take five so uh and he said yeah so there we go five quid um comes with the it's a bit old but it comes with the manual um, and a bit tatty but bit readable. And tatty, yeah and the bag isn't in best condition it looks as though it's had some weather damage to it, it looks like it's been wet a few times but yeah but if it's kept the camera safe and dry then but that's got to be worth you know i mean i've I've got to be able to get a few quid on that. I mean, I, I would imagine. So, yeah. I'm hoping, hoping for between twenty to thirty on that. Maybe, maybe more. We, we'll see. I did have a little look. Uh, I did see one at about thirty nine. So, that's what I would kind of hope for. That uh, she is. Oh, she's in the pen. I put her in. Her well, play put pen. her in there. Yeah. Because oh, that way she's, uh, she's safe. She's well, safe. Well, whilst we're busy. Because <laughs> you've got to have eyes in the back of your head when you've got a little one like that. Um, so next next one. Um, this is the Holy Grail. <laughs> do you want to open it? So there's a nice little package. Um, I thought I saw what, what it said on there. It is an Olympus Mew. Now, back in the day when I was selling compact cameras in duty free, oh, this was the one that I, I absolutely... The batteries are actually working. Yeah. There's actually a film in there. I so wanted one of these. Um, anyway, it's got so a film in it, hasn't it? I picked it, it up. For, it's got a film in it. Uh, you can actually hear it when it opens. And the digital display. And the digital the display. Um... So a really nice, it's a clean looking camera as well. It's such an um, elegant design. It's such a nice looking camera. How much do you think they're worth? Any idea? About 35 on About them. 35, 40 quid? I'm not quid. sure actually, maybe even more for the Mew. I'll have a look. But I mean, normal uh, um, uh, film cameras um, like this, I'm... I'm thinking at least, as you say, at least 35, 40 quid, I think. And for the Mew, which is a quite a, a... I thought I saw them up to 70 odd quid. 
very possibly so, you know i mean they were iconic in their yeah and it's in it, day. it's got a, a nice case even, the case is a today, good they've got a really good design and yeah you can't beat good design can you so that was a really good pickup um now I, i'm just picking up film cameras anyway because whether they're going to be that good a uh a sale or not um uh, but that was a really nice one um now what have we got next uh this one uh, is in a little Samsonite case. So it's quite a nice little Samsonite case. And this one is um, Fujifilm. Digital. Digital. Um, now, it's quite a nice looking little camera. And the thing is, it's only a 1.4 megapixel. One point? Not 1.4, sorry. What? 4.1 it's a 4.1 megapixel it went that low. this week i actually sold a digital camera um which was a 3.2 megapixel so some people are still buying cameras that are under five under five i normally try and get cameras that are over five megapixel uh, I had picked up some I that were cheaper. I would personally pick them up unless they were over 10, but then that's me. Well, that would ideally, but the thing is, for such a nice, clean little camera, if you're picking them up for a couple of quid and they are and they are selling for, you know, if if you can at minimum, if you can double your money or or, or treble your money on it, then it's worth picking up, I think. So, and not knowing exactly which models sell for what, if I can pick them up for the right price, then I'll pick them up, is what I'm thinking. So that was that one. Uh, next we have in another little Samsonite case. Um, uh, we've got an Olympus. Uh, this is only, this is uh, a 3.2. This is probably what I picked up before and sold. Um, but if I sold one last week, there's no reason why I can't sell exactly the same next the following week. So um, I think it would have been a pound, this one. Um, and if I'm picking them up for a pound, if I can sell it for seven, something like that is pretty good. The other thing on some of these cameras is they might not have the megapixel on, on the resolution, but some of them, if they've got an optical zoom, um, is quite good. Uh, then also picked up a um, Fujifilm Finepix. Um, again, that was just a couple of quid. This one is a... This is a 5.1 megapixel. Um, it looks like it's taken just a little dent just there. Uh, but they're quite a nice little camera. So I picked that one up. Um, we then have... Oh, what have we got here? All right. So then we're moving on to... I picked up some... Uh, uh, binoculars this one well, looks like that bit's just come off there we go it just needs to pop on the rubber's just popped up on this this is a uh, uh, a patrica practica practica um little practica uh, binoculars uh, I think I would have paid about three quid for those um, I've got a feeling they could possibly sell for about 12 so 3 into 12 that could be quite good um, again on some of these uh, binoculars the um, the prices can change uh i'm not 100 percent sure on some of these as you know i've picked up some really good ones before um this is tcm uh binoculars um they're quite nice these are 16 by 32s the rubber's slightly sticky so that's going to need a clean up um but they're, they're quite quite nice 
but you have the stuff to clean the sticky we do rubber, have the, the, the goo gone, goo -gone. It's a nice yellow bottle of Goo Gone, um, which is doing me really well, by the way. I did, we did do a little feature of, on, on the Goo Gone, and we've still only, we've still got half a bottle left. It's going really well. It's very... Yeah, because I bought it originally to get rid of sticky labels and things, but Neil's been cleaning practically everything with it. Practically everything. Every, anything that's sticky um, at, on these marks. Or for... even things that aren't sticky, like you're cleaning up a, a wee balance board. A wee yesterday. balance board. It just grab it. it just... Oh, out comes the goo gone. And it brings it out. It brings it up really nicely. Um, so we've got, well, how do you pronounce that one? Tasco. Tasco. So super, super zoom. zoom. So that's a nice little pair of binoculars. Uh, it has the actual zoom feature on there. So it actually, uh, um, zooms to time 70 um they're really nice little binoculars again that was just a few quid i think that might have been four quid for that one actually um we've then got um yeah here's some <laughs> right um so this is a samson um s630 um in a, in a box it's always nice if it's in a box uh, I think this was uh, three pounds, and um, the actual size of the it's not a very it's big megapixels. It's not very big on the megapixels, um, but there was this empty box in there, and then there's a brand new pack of batteries. Um, that looks like a, a might looks Energize ultimate lithium lithium batteries. So, and then there's another cut, some more batteries. There. I have to look to see what's in them. Um, Holds power for up to 20 years, Neil. Wow, 20 years. Um, it says there's a one gigabyte card. Actually, there's two in there. There's two. Here we go. There we go. 128. <laughs> megabyte and a one gigabyte so that's so the the bits that came with gig. this camera is well worth what you paid for it and like the camera is that's a bonus well bigger than any of my i'll be probably using that in my new, in my new films a one gig card that's actually pretty good um so they're the good bits and this camera is the bonus is the bonus? Have you just put them back in there? Or is I've just put. I've the just bottom? put them. Just put them back down there. Uh, um, this is a. This is a six megapixel. Six megapixel camera. That's actually really nice. Um, it's nice and clean. It's, but it doesn't look like it's been used. It really doesn't look like it's been used. And I'm guessing that it's a case of its batteries. Oh. Another card. There's a two gigabyte card. How many, how big are these cards that we use? Um, I give in, I don't know. But there's a two gigabyte card. I'm trying to think. I don't know, because my card, I always get the biggest card. Oh, no, gigs. You... No, gigs are, uh, I get confused on gigs. But anyway, there's cards. There's, there's cards, so, um. Yeah, that's quite that's quite nice. And say, so I think that was that was like three quid. So we've got cards, we've got batteries to use, um, uh, and a camera. Uh, that's that's got to be that's got to be worth the three quid. And to all come in in a box with the discs and the cameras. Uh, so uh, 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 the book for it. That's how old it is. It comes with a disc. Comes with a disc and comes with a book. So. Quite nice. That was a that was a nice little pickup actually. I quite like that one. Um, we then have a um, couple more little binoculars and a so um, pick these little ones up. Uh, these are six by sixteens. That it's unbranded. Um, yeah, teeny weeny ones could be kind of uh, opfery, kind of um, mm. something like that. I don't think you'd probably use them at an opera. No, but what they might be good for a little pair of binoculars 
to have at the joust next weekend. There's locks with joust next weekend, and to have some uh, have some little binoculars for something like that. That could be quite cool. Um, but there was but those, so they were two pounds. If you needed a pair of binoculars to see a horse thundering towards you at sixty miles an hour, then oh, yeah, I don't quite know. handy. Well, there could be some battle or something going off down there, and you want to get a close up. I don't know zoom. how big the field is. I have, yeah. We've never been. We've never been. We've never been. So now there's also a monocular, uh, a Jessup's seven by eighteen monocular. This was a pound. I have no idea how much a monocular will be, but I'm hoping I can, you know, if that's a pound, I'm hoping I can sell it for a fiver. It's got a little case. Um, quite a handy little thing just to have in your pocket. That was quite cool. Um, Excuse me, then I'm got so tired. A, now this is quite a chunky oh, one. That looks like it needs some goo gone. This actually does look like it needs some goo gone. It is a it's a Tom Tom sat nav, but it's quite a chunky one compared to the other little ones. So I wonder what the actual uh, so it's a Tom 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 one, and uh, looks quite reasonable. It's got the um, backy thing. It's got your mount. So you've got the mount to mount it onto the screen, so that's it's good. It's a monster mount, isn't it? But there are going to be chunky little spuds, so I suppose he needs a bit of an extra bracket. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, not as chunky as the um, as the Go 300s, which were, you know, they've got the big back on the on the on the Tom Tom Go 300s that I was picking up for about a fiver. Um, also have a Gurmin. Um, the Gurmin has the mount on the back, which is good. Uh, it's it's the ball mount, which is quite nice. I quite like the little ball mount on those. They're quite cool. And uh, yeah, so there's that one. Uh, it's got the charger with it, so that's really cool. And now, I spotted this before, um, and this was actually on the stall where the guy said everything's free. And you spotted it before I, everything was I'd free. I spotted it before everything was free. I didn't bother asking about it. I don't particularly buy, I don't particularly get lenses. Um, and not normally Sony because we always stick with Canon, don't we? Yeah. But, so it wouldn't necessarily be something I'd take a chance on. But when it's not going to cost but you for anything free. for free, uh, and it's a tele teleconversion lens times two so i mean it looks it no, looks I okay know. i have no idea what it would what it would be worth but picking it up for free i think that it's gonna have some value yeah um it comes in its own little its own little pouch so I was really happy to pick that up, especially as it hasn't cost anything. It's got to sell for something. I have no idea what it what it's worth if anybody if anyone uses them at the moment. Uh, so that yeah, that was that was quite cool. Um, there's also uh, I picked up a DVD. Um, it didn't have a um, hasn't got a back to it, but it has got the remote. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, let's just pack these away for a sec. I'll cut the film at this point and uh, we'll cut back in. Okay, you done? Uh, I've got more. You, you got more? Oh, you, I've got more, yeah. You do yours. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Well, my next one was I spotted this, which is a cat small animal basket. It's made by Carver, Curver, Carver. It's got a little um, hand access there so you can stick your hand in and, I don't know, feed it treats or, or whatever you need to do. And then um, it opens up that side as well. But it struck me as being, for this week at least, the perfect size to put Echo in yeah. and sit her between my feet on my big mobility scooter when we go up to the park. You know, I used to do this with my other Labrador. But it looks the perfect, basket, doesn't I just it? Used to... But 
I mean, what it's, a nice it's basket. It's a lovely big heavyweight strong one. Yeah. So what's these different flat things you were saying about? Oh, but, um, I'll put the handle down. Yep. At the front, you've got, the, opens up halfway. Excellent. So you can put your animal in or the animal yep. can sit with its mm -hmm. head up. And then you've got a little one there. So if you need to stick your hand in and, and do, do something, whatever you've got to stick your hand in. Give it a treat or... or just, Whatever. Whatever, but that's but I liked really, it. It's, it looks smart and it looks very well made. Extremely solid. Did you say you looked it up to see what it was worth? Um, they sell different. They come in different sizes and yeah. things, but um, anything between forty and sixty quid. These are. So that's really good. But I thought, well, for a fiver. For a fiver, that's definitely going to be worth getting for a fiver. Absolutely. So, well, I've got some. Uh, oh, here's a couple of quick bits. Um, I pick up these. I've wanted one of these for a long, long time. It's a Dyson accessory, and I don't know if you can see if I press. I don't know if you yep. can see that. It's, when you press that, it's a, it, it's a dog grooming tool. So as you brush the hair out, yep. the theory being that it hoovers it up whilst you're doing it. And then as you release it, then it... Now, I think they're up. about 20... They were quite... Because I did look about buying one when we first got About 15 got the to 20 quid, I think. Yeah. Um, I, I paid seven. That hasn't been used. For, I can smell no, it. it's brand new. Mm. That well, it was about seven for this one and for this one as well. And I thought, well, you know, to sell bits like these on, I mean, well, it's not just that, but I've got so many of these type of floor attachments that have been lost. Yeah. I don't know how they get lost, but nobody ever seems to know where they I, are when I, I go to use them. I really them. like them. So for seven quid, I think it did pretty well on those two. Well, you can try that out so later. I'll try that out probably on the stairs. It's probably a I mean, stairs. we don't have a Dyson that we use at the moment. I was going to say we don't have a Dyson. I've got, but, but I've got about eight of them. There's but, multiples that you can actually that plug. That should you can actually still just fit on, yeah. on the Hoover hose quite so easily. So they're pretty good. Well, I also... Picked up a, a tape gun. Now we use these obviously for doing the blue, uh, 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 the brown tape for. As I'm tape. sure any reseller does. Absolutely, but you know, I saw it and thought, you know, if Jan's doing some parceling, I'm doing some parceling. To have a gun each, it was a pound. Well Is worth. That smaller than I mean, it looks exactly I think it's the same size. So I think it's the same size. Yeah. It's just as you were holding it, it kind of looked yeah. like a, a smaller version, but well, no. Tape guns, how much was that? Pound. Pound. Um, I've got some rollerblades. Yes, I said that you could be in charge of picking up the rollerblades. You today. did, you did. Um, now this seems to be the no, th the, it's got it's got no fear everywhere. I don't know, I didn't know if no fear is actually a brand. Um, but anyway, it, I mean, it's obviously some kids' ones. Um, but I think they're, I mean, they're reasonable. Um, I think I can't remember if it's on the tape, but I think it was about three or four quid. I don't think it was. Might have been a fiver, but That's I would expect. Enough, and they should look all right, shouldn't they? I, I mean, would they hope. A bit grim at the hope moment, for but... about twenty quid. I would hope for about twenty quid on them. Yeah, especially with Christmas coming. So, um, so they're quite they're quite nice. Um, This is your last lot. No. <laughs> no, sorry guys, I, I I'm gonna zip through these ones a little bit quicker. Um keyboard yeah, we won't be offended if you fast forward. <laughs> yeah. Keyboard, mouse and the fob to plug in, uh two quid. Um, now that was going for two quid. Uh, when you say the fob, do you mean a dongle? A dongle, dongle, fob, okay. dongle, yeah. Now, you said two quid, however, at the same place, 
There was spaghetti of wires. Spaghetti of wires. Um, and it was a case of you can take those for the same two quid. But in and here, there's something what, else in that. that was a that was a bike lock. That was it's it's brand new, and that was on the on, on the place of just take it away for free. Um, so that yes, was just a, quite cool. a straightforward cable combination lock. There was also a little torch. I just grabbed a little torch as well. Um, but going back to these cables, you've got. Um, HDMI cables, you've got com old computer cables, I say old, they look brand new, but they just haven't been used. Um, you've got the, you've just got loads of different cables. Um, um, Packard Bell USB. Packard Bell USB. What's, what's that one? It's uh, got slots there. So that be, that's a card reader. This one here is a Packard Bell card reader. What card? Um, there's, it's actually a, a multiple of cards. So you've got all different cards that it will read. What, like the little camera cards? Like the little I camera cards and stuff. I was just looking at the bigger stuff. one, the bigger slots and things. Um, do you remember that? on the um, our original... Um, what, floppy disk? No, the on our original cameras they had a bigger square card. I think it was called a CF card. It was a square, bigger card, and that should go no, into that. No, that particular memory must have fallen out of my head in the brain damage. But it's... Um, but anyway, it is a card. It's a card reader. Um, there's also a HDMI in here as well. So there's a whole load of cables that that went in with that um, for two quid. I was quite happy with that. I would expect to try and sell this keyboard for about nine ninety nine. So to pick it up for two quid plus all the cables, um, I think that's pretty good. I'm really happy with that actually. Um, move that over here. Um, quickly zoom through uh, some more of the ele electricals. Uh, there's a Blaupunt, uh, a DVD. Is that you pr pronounce it? Blaupunt? I don't know. Uh, Blaupunt. I, I don't know. A DVD player. Um, it's that brand. That brand. Um, I think it may I, or may not be. I think I did the way about just pronounce it. Yeah, I think I did about four quid on that one. Um, there was a, a another DVD player. This one I think is an ASDA. Uh, which is so I'm pretty sure the one one of these that I picked up was an ASDA. But there's another DVD player. DVD players seems like a silly little thing, but they're the but they sell they sell really well. Um, also for a couple of quid picked up um, one of these little boxes. It's one of these little TV um, things. I think it was about two quid. And three. For, three on the side. Yeah, but I think I only paid up two. All right. If it says three pounds, then I'm going. Will you take two? Um, so this one you can you can do YouTube, Netflix, uh, uh, a whole load of AirPlay stuff through that box. So that that's quite nice. That was two quid. Um, we have uh, this is the ASDA um, little ASDA DVD player. Uh, so that's quite nice. Um, this one I picked up again. This was this was this was on the free box. This was on the free on the on the one that uh, was free, and this is a VTEC. Um, a little kiddie a kiddie then. learning computer. Right. I have no idea if it actually works. Um, but it was a case of just taking it away for free. So yeah, I'll certainly give that a go. Um, so I know it connects to the. It connects to the internet uh, uh, via Ethernet cable, and it does actually have batteries in there. Um, there's two lots of batteries. Uh, I expect that there's actually a power. There's probably a power source in here as well. So that's really cool. Um, then picked up a Philips. There's a Philips DVD player. Which would have been a couple of quid. And 
believe it or not, it's just a radio. It's huge. A radio? Of like a stacked stereo unit? Of like unit. a stacked stereo unit radio. Uh, Natural sounding AM it, FM. It, it's a Yamaha. Pound. Guy was selling it for a pound. Uh, it's got uh, the connectors and stuff where you put the aerial and stuff. Um, I have no idea whether this would sell, but for Quite a pound, I'll take they've a chance. Got dub radios, yeah, and digital and everything. Can you still get no ordinary? Yes, I you can my still. Radio over you can the still internet, get so. some, and I have no idea if someone would sell. But then I didn't think people would still be buying DVD players, and they do. So. We have no idea why people buy what they buy. I'm gonna. S it's simply our job to supply it. Absolutely. So and give I tried. Them the option. I tried that and then to buy or not to buy. The Blau Punt that had is... had the remote control to go with it as well, so that's pretty cool. Just pop those back in. Have you got any other bits there? I have. What have you got? Well, I don't oh. actually know. You don't know? No, I've not seen it yet myself. It was one of those stalls where they laid a, a tarpaulin in front of the table and put stuff all over that. And then there was stuff all over the stall, so you couldn't reach it to see it. Right. Um, I kind of saw some of these bits from a distance. So you don't know what it is? But I don't actually know. I've not seen it properly myself yet. But to me, it looked like... Um, Foster's Cornish work. I'm really intrigued. So, it's got no Maker's brand on that one. So oh, that's quite nice. That's Do you nice. remember I've got some of the green like this? Yes, the green is really nice. So, well, I'm not saying there. I'm not saying, however, that this isn't nice because this actually okay. is. Uh, that's a really nice. That's really nice. I'm just checking because I haven't checked any of it. You right. know, I just said I'd because I asked them how much they wanted and they said three pound fifty. I'm gonna take that lot. take these up for a close up so that people can get. So a gear. I thought well three pound fifty for all of it. Kind of read not to. Yeah, that's that's. Uh... I know that these little saucers don't have cups to go with them. Which right. Is a shame. But yeah. Um. But what else have we got there? Little uh, jug. Little jug. Oh, that's nice. So, how much did you pay for these? Three pound fifty for everything. Three pound fifty for everything. So that's got to be nice. That's, that's nice. pretty. Yeah. So I've got two plates and two saucers, I think. And yeah. I don't know if this is definitely Foster's or if it's just Cornish ware. Right. Sort of a, a generic Cornish ware, but it looks like Cornish ware. And then what else have we got here? That's empty. Um, oh, there's one there. Yeah, oh. this is the lid to that one. Right. That's the... Oh, that's quite a nice... Oh, Gee that's what? really interesting shape. It's almost like an Aladdin lamp shape, uh, isn't it? It is. That's to. like. So I don't actually know what it is. All right. Looks like some sort of Cornish ware. Yeah. Well, that's really nice, isn't it? Pottery thing, and as as you've just put it, you've put the little bowl on on a saucer. Yeah. And the little jug. Kind of fits on the saucer. So I don't know if you can see that. I kind of feel like just have a little tea party with it. It just and feels then... uh, encouraging to use, doesn't it? Yeah. I really like that that colour there. This what, the brown. The brown there. That there, as it just sits, it's just a really nice. It's a very deep, rich kind of brown. Um, I don't know if this has got a brown. On. No, none of it's got any kind of makers. Yeah. That looks as though it's got some sort of crazing on it, which is a shame. Yeah. Possibly but from the heat. I wonder whether that would be from the, the heat, heat of being of the heat of being used. You if it was tea. ever used, people generally buy things like this and then and leave them on the it. side and don't yeah. use them. But yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But it doesn't nice. mean to say that it's not not going to be usable. Yeah, that's really nice. But I just thought because I've already got some of the green, I've yeah, not had it, any 
what the you, ha you haven't got a eBay shop yet, but if you had an eBay shop, then I could the, put it in. It would be China really nice section, to have a yeah. nice little China kind of section, um, whatever. Um, I really like these plates. It's mainly because all of my plates from my dinner set got smashed. So for how many years now have we been eating off plastic plates? Yes. <laughs> and I got of for about that 10 size. in a Sainsbury yeah. sale. Yeah. But they can't break them, <laughs> much as they try. So that's, that's, really that's, nice. that's me done, really. That was. Um, um, well, I've still got a couple of, just a couple of bits. Um, I've got, uh, this was from... This one's again from the guy of just take it away for free uh, at that point. It's a nice little kind of fleece jacket and it's a, did you say it's Marks and Spencer's? Marks and Spencer's one, yeah. It's a Marks and Spencer's jacket, yeah. so it's got like a suede kind of suede kind of look and uh, it's got like a, a wool type lining. Yeah, it does. I'm just looking for. There's the uh, Marks and Spencer's. Uh, SP. I don't know what Marks and Spencer's SP is, no. but it says uh, it's large, made in China, camel. Yeah, because you're just getting to the age now where you need to start wearing camel. It is obligatory. It is, yeah. So you should keep this one. Well, I, say, I, might say it... I might actually keep this one or I might sell it. I haven't decided yet, but... Or I might keep it and then sell it. Who knows? But oh, hang on, out of out of fabric is polyester acrylic, so it's a, a suede-like fabric. It's not. Yeah, it's not it's actual not suede. suede. But it's still but it's a, a nice. A a Marks nice and Spencer's, so it's a good quality jacket. So that was nice. Um, there's also um, there's also a pair of trousers. Uh, I haven't even looked to see if I, if I would fit. Um, but it's, um, what did you say it was? Um, crack hoppers. Yeah, crack hoppers. Now, it's I like actually. Some sort of, looks like they go with your climbing shoes. I think crack hopper, yeah, it's that kind of climbing. And they're kind of cargo pants, aren't kind of, they? With the, I was thinking these would be ideal for me to wear side. when I'm riding my electronic mountain board. Um, because I think I'd get the pads, I'd put, get the knee pads underneath, possibly. Um, so I don't know. I'm, uh, but again, these the, these were. It was just a case of if you, if you want them, we take tend them not away. to buy clothes to resell because within ten minutes of entering this house, there's dog it's hair. It's dog hair. That's that's. And some people do get very very fussy about dog hair. The issue on that one, and that is, I already can see a couple of bits of dog hair that's already picked up on that. Um, it's like if we invite you, don't ever come to our house for dinner unless you're prepared to eat your food with the dog hair in it. Yes. Because <laughs> I don't think Neil's ever dished me up anything that hasn't got a bit in there. Okay, so last three items for me, I, I believe. Finally. Finally, the last three items. Um, yeah, I saw this um, as in a, uh, a Volkswagen um, shirt and shorts. I didn't actually notice the shorts, I just saw the actual... Uh, shirt. I thought it was a pair of t-shirts. Uh, well, I, I kind of thought it was, but it's... Well, it says shorts, but the picture doesn't actually look that short. They look like long shorts. They, yeah, and they're... Uh, um, it's got a, a picture... You probably can't see it too well on there. It's got a picture of a Volkswagen split-screen van on it. Um, I paid £3.40. So you think, why is it £3.40? That was the only change I had left at the time. Official licensed product. And uh, so I, I'll probably keep them. They're actually large. They should be about my it's, size. It's got a £15 price ticket on it. It has. I did notice that at the time. Um, so I think getting it for £3 something. I think three quids is, is pretty good. I think if I were to sell it, I might only get seven. Yeah, cotton polyester. Um, if, it, if, if it was new, new for 15 then I, I don't think... I don't know, maybe I'd get nine for it, but I'm thinking I'll probably just keep them for myself. It has a functional drawstring waist for comfort. Oh, sounds like that's what I'm going to be wearing on that sofa. Um, so that's that was those. During the summer months anyway. But... Yeah. So yeah, but that's... that's and it nice. smells fresh. 
Cool. You know, because sometimes even if they're not they well, can well, still get a nasty smell about them, can't they? Now, a while ago I did say I probably wouldn't pick up Meccano, but actually then the Meccano that I did pick up sold, and I've kind of changed my mind on it. Um, but there was this lovely... Is this your penultimate item? Penultimate? What, the one before that? Yeah, there is one more to come. Um, so, my China a it? really nice plastic box um, for Meccano. There is some bits of Meccano in there. Um, there's not a lot, but it, it's got... Um, it's got a nice removable tray. There's some bits of Meccano in here. Some of it is electronic bits. Um, there's some electronics to do with that. Um, but then it also has um, some other stuff. Has some other stuff in there as well. It really wasn't about the stuff. I don't know that the stuff is going to be worth that much. But I'm just thinking the box looks like the. I, I'm thinking that the box could be worth possibly a tenner just as a plastic Meccano mm. box for someone to keep all their stuff in. Yeah, it's a really nice um, case, isn't it? It's a nice case. And, uh, and I saw that and thought, yeah, for £3.50, I'll yeah. have that. Um, I think even if I just sold the Meccano is gotta be, that's in there, it's got to be worth three quid. But if I part that out, I've got a feeling it could be worth a lot more. Uh, so that was really or nice. Or just sell it with the bits in. Sell it with the bits in and let the people uh, make it up. Just, just kind of make it nice and simple. Now the, the last bit, the last piece, it was actually one of the first pieces that I actually yeah, got. Final. Um, and uh, I have no idea how much old suitcases are worth. Um, I've got a feeling, I mean, it's, it's quite a nice, quite a nice blue colour suitcase. Um, it's got a, a 70s kind of look to it. It's, it's got the keys. Um, and I'm really hoping that, uh, that I, I can sell this suitcase. Um, uh, I paid £10 for it. Um, I say, I don't know quite what it's going to be worth. It's going to be worth trying to sell it, I think. But I didn't buy it for the suitcase. I bought it for the what treasure. was in the suitcase, as in the treasure. Um, lots there lots is of just treasure. lots and lots of costume jewellery. Um, now, there's just so much stuff in here. It was just a case of... I can smell incense. Pay it... For, I mean, the, the idea is, I mean, possibly, possibly just one of these could be four or five quid. Um, and there's so much of it. Um, so literally f for the suitcase and for all this, I paid £10. And with the other jewellery that you saw that I picked up, it just buy it in bulk and then literally piece everything out, photograph it, it and sell it cheap. Um, I, I'm taking this to be very much like, that's quite a nice one, yeah. I'm taking this very much to be like the DVDs, with all those hundreds of DVDs that we had, uh, or that we have, that are just tickling at, that they're just trickling out every week or so, a couple of DVDs head on out, yeah. it's not a lot of money, but once it's covered its cost, everything else from there is profit. Um, and that's what that's what I'm thinking of on this. I mean, just on some of these, there's there's some there's some some bracelets, and uh, I mean, there's just so much of it, and it's going to be now. I mean, Jan. I love Jan's been out playing like out this. and sorting out um, the Lego. I actually think it's going to be quite enjoyable just sitting through, picking out items, and uh, and going through. So I'm actually going to quite enjoy going through that. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I don't know if you've seen, but I've got I've picked up a load of bags, um, and they were the bags that i got were for from hobbycraft and it was 50 bags for about two pounds 70. 
and you may or may not remember that there was a load of bags that I picked up um, there was oh, a load of these nice. bags nice. from Sainsbury's nice Celtic knot that is nice load of bags from Sainsbury's and what I'll do is when they're individually open like that I'll just pop them into a bag until they're sorted so that they, they start to become individual pieces that they can then be cleaned up okay. and, and and photoed and and uh, and stuff but there's some I think there's some really good bits there now it was a little bit of a joke me saying about the actual suitcase but I don't know if if well, you don't the, know you the know, suitcase um... somebody wants a, an old style suitcase um, even if it goes for, for, props for Elstree or something if it goes for a fiver it's half of the money paid to being in profit and that's what it's about isn't it it's about being back in profit as soon as possible um, that looks like a suite on the string doesn't it does look like a suite on the string that's quite a interesting little item what's that is that magnets that's a magnet one magnetic yeah well, that's got to be quite cool. People like the magnet ones. Just trying to see how it actually. Oh, it doesn't actually do it. You just it doesn't need to. It just, it just the relies magnets, on the magnets to. But obviously, they're going to be pulled. But yeah, there's there's just so much stuff in here. Um, don't want to kind of break it all, but. But yeah, there's loads of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if that's jewellery or if it's a cat collar. Maybe it's both. Um, well, our little Molly has a diamond collar, didn't she? Diamond oh, there's a little collar. one that here that's Race for Life. A little Race for Life thing. Let's have a look. Um, Oh, that's very... Yeah, it's a little pink cancer one, isn't it? Uh, cancer symbols and... That's an interesting one. And there's uh, there's watches in here. Um, little watch. There's, you just... With this stuff, you just don't know what you're going to come up... You don't know what you're going to find. Um, more watches. Yeah, this is a. It looks like you know you have um, people have paracord when they go off and do adventuring yeah. and things. It kind of looks a bit like that in a jewellery form. A couple of watches. Um, yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, that's the next quartz watch. Ah, oh, um, see, some of these might. Well, next aren't cheap, are they? Some of these actually, there's another little watch there. So there might actually be, I don't know if the lady who had this actually knew, knew what was it in it or, um, you know, was it hers or was it one that she... Well, some people so bought, buy, bought this buy this stuff, stuff. she could have just bought it, tipped more it all out and then bothered to see what she's actually got. This one seems to be a whole load of rings. So it... Can't see your hands in the way. Bangles. Bangles, are they? Well, I think they are. I think they're... Yeah, you just yeah. wear them all. Hmm. So anyway, you know, I could keep going through this forever, but the, there's a whole load of stuff. Uh, it's going to be interesting, good fun going through um sectioning it all out so but if you um, sold it all for a pound a piece you've got to be in profit well that's profit, that's what it? i'm thinking i mean it's got to be they've got to be worth a pound a piece um by the way um i don't know if i mentioned this um there was a silver color bracelet um that's got to go in the post tomorrow morning um that has love written on it which i picked up and i sold that for four pound fifty um and that was from a five pound batch that i picked up the other week 
Um, so yeah, I, I think this this has got to be um, this has got to be worth looking at. It, I say it, it's a hell of a mess. There's a lot of it, but when you actually take each individual piece as an individual piece, um, I think I think there's some money to be made. Um, and I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's about mm. you know if, if if when it looks a whole mess well, like that. So many of these things, you buy them from a boot sale. And by the time you've taken the time to clean it up, smarten it up, make it all look nice, that's and then, where the value and is. And present it. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah, I'm I'm pretty impressed uh, and, and happy to have managed to have picked that up. That was really yeah, kind of good. I was just thinking I need she, to feed her. She's though. having a sleep. So anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have you got anything? That was all your bits, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I don't buy nearly as nearly much. Nearly as much do. as yeah, but then I'm trying to, I'm trying to develop this into a full time income, uh, which well, it's, it's nowhere near. I, I, at the moment, all I'm doing is reinvesting each week, is reinvesting into more and more stock so that I can get it to a, a point. So I'm not really take, taking anything out of the bit out of it at the moment. my motivation was to clear the house of all the junk that I've had laying around for donkey's years but that's gone spectacularly wrong <laughs> yeah you know instead of getting rid of stuff more stuff just keeps coming in but but then you know but what... then you know I, I'm selling some of my bits and pieces yeah. you know and for prices that I wouldn't have thought possible during the week I sold a tiny tiny little ornament it was like this big about an inch and a half long yeah Little porcelain white horse sold it for fifteen pounds. I have no idea where I got it from. Yeah, but it, it's amazing. All I know it's is amazing. It was in so, my house, so it was. But if you wanted to buy it, you wouldn't know where to. Apart from people on eBay, where would you oh, want to buy a little little horse? I mean, where'd you buy well, this stuff? I did look out of the boot sale today. Yeah, you know, so any more? Any more? I'll have it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's re really interesting. In fact, there may be. Uh, I'm considering on doing a film having a look back through the last month uh, to see what I've actually sold um, and um, possibly do a film on that where uh, have a look see what actually sold over the last month see what it is sold for um, see if I can work out what uh, if I can remember what I actually bought them for yeah I actually sold uh, three pairs of tights or three boxes of two pairs of tights so six pairs of tights all together yeah that cost us 3p 3p yeah we've got a whole load Brand of stuff new. one penny a piece so yeah, pushed the boat out and spent 40p on the sale in in the chemist and yeah so, so that's really good sold them so that's a bit more space cleared so if you've enjoyed watching this uh you're still here then i ho hope you've enjoyed it i hope somebody's not held you in the chair you must watch <laughs> neil and jan's reselling gaffer tape gaffer tape to the chair you have to watch them now, if you've enjoyed it, um, please pop a comment down below. Let us know what you've enjoyed. Yeah, and hit um, the like button. Hit the like that button. that helps us as well. And the subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get the you'll, you'll, you'll get to see um, uh, other films. And if you smash that bell button, you'll get a notification when our next films come up. As I say, yeah. hopefully this week, I'm hoping to do an uh, end of the month kind of thing. It's the first of the month now. Look back over the last of the month and see what has actually sold this month. Um, so I hope yeah, you've so enjoyed it. Thank you for spending time with us. And as Neil said, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Yep. And we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Anyway, take Bye. care. Bye.